reading a poem entitled Secondhand Smoke. And his favorite um, movie that scares him is Twilight. <laughs> Not because it's a horror film in the, in the traditional sense, but because it scares him as to what it says about our society. <laughs> The witching hour is a time when darkness threatens to invade and corrupt our broken beings. But we would be ignorant to ignore the secondhand smoke that we are constantly breathing. So through tonight's readings, I hope you find the strength to make it through your darkest hours intact. My conviction. You're nailed to my soul, set to guard me from a world full of sins. You're spread wide and thin. Your cruise is affixed round my heart, letting loose my whole world as it's falling apart. And the pieces are shards, set to harden and hearken the ardent pursuit of ensuing transgressions. Yes, I learned my lesson from scars on my heartstrings, plucked baroque harpist chords, archaic and abandoned, planned in paint chipping rooms, black like the lungs of a second-hand smoker who never took a puff, who never said enough, my lungs are my own. Now my lungs are my own, but they're weighed down with tones of a voice that echoes in darkness. And sometimes the hardest truth to stomach is that death blackened lungs long before tobacco was grown. Now I'm dying alone. Every time I come home to this full-size empty bed, when you said follow me, drop your life and believe, I believed, every word as the stories were read. And that's where death began, sins nailed to these hands, because you hung a reminder that I fail every day. How can you take away any pain from my life, if remembering your death chokes me tight as a chorus? Sing the glory of death, where every breath is a lungful, every exhale is poison, and this secondhand smoke is some token of your love. I never had to cut to self-mutilate because your word showed me truth to lighten the way to take my life in your hands as they taught me to pray. Because surrender isn't debt free, just a new way to pay. Now the more I love the Father, the more I feel abandoned, a bastard of the pious, blind and empty-handed. As the blood that sets me free fills the faults in my skin, I hang your death around my neck and chain the guilt to my chest from within. You demand every breath back. Well, I'm a witness to your spirit, and I listen for your voice. When I hear it, I fear it's just the wind in the trees. Through the cold autumn leaves, it is your holy ghost that falls and rots under knees. Now to worship the fall, my all in all. Now I wake to the message of news. Good morning, America. And God bless your hearts, because you cry for freedom, but you've only just started to condemn your conviction unto those on TV, and you don't even know the preamble. For we swear ourselves to the future by creating enemies, and we sacrifice others to prolong our own needs, but we won't take our own lives to admit we exist, because suicide and sentience are two dynamic commitments. Yes, this conviction is my prison. But you deliver me from evil, though my lungs will blacken in time. So let my words turn to dust and not poison the air as I breathe in the world and exhale. <laughs>